So how many ways we can enter the value into a text box using Selenium, not in Selenium, using Selenium. So this is the interview question. And to enter the value into a text field, then one of the method that what we know is by using a method called send case. Normally we can use send case. But apart from using send case, are there any other ways? That's a you know that's what I expected. So if send case doesn't work, is there any alternative way to enter the value into the text field? Okay, so there are different ways to do that. One is, yeah, so, uh, you know, obviously it is a send case method. Then how do we use send case method? Okay, so first what we do, like, okay, so we have created a driver instance and then I will navigate to the page and we do have our own HTML page here. So we can work with that just to understand these questions. Okay, I'll use this. Now, yeah. Okay, so I'm just opening the page. Then what I do is I'll just um, take the element. We can take any text field. So username also one of the text field. So we can work with the username just to understand how to enter the value. Okay, then uh, driver dot find element by dot name username dot there is a method called send case. Let me do one thing since I need to work with this element again and again. I'll just store it web element element equal to then I'll say element dot send case. Then I'll just enter any value. It, I'm just entering A, B, C, D. Okay. Right. It's a, it's a ID, not the name. I'm sorry. I'm using by dot name here and it should be ID. Now, this is one of the way that all the people know how to enter the value into the text field by using send case method. Yeah, you see that. Right. It's entering. Are there any, is there any other way to do that? Yeah, there are a couple more ways to enter the value into the text field apart from send case method. And the other way is, okay, uh, we can use something called actions class, ACT equal to new actions, new actions driver. Okay, now ACT dot, and here also what we do is we use uh, send keys only in actions class also first we need to create instance of actions class and we have to provide driver as an input for the actions class object then what you do is in the actions class object you use send keys method only and in the send keys for the send keys method you have to give a, a web element as a first input and a value as a second input and then when you define the action as a send case, then the action dot send case is action here, action dot, then you need to use something called perform. Without perform method, it does actions will not be performed in the actions class. Okay. And we can talk about actions class, you know, going forward in detail. So everything about actions class will be discussed in other video. Okay, so the, the second way of doing is, uh, you know, actions class, but it's mostly like a send case, you know, the regular web element dot send case we have used it, right? So, you know, using actions class also, it's very similar to that, but with a small difference. But as I told, you know, the difference we can uh, talk uh, separately when we talk about the actions class. Okay, so complete uh, detail about, uh, I mean, we will talk complete, you know, everything about actions class, you know, uh, in the later classes. Okay, so the second way is using uh, actions class. But there is an, um, you know, uh, third way as well. There is a third way. 
what is that by using uh, javascript executor so there is another way you know javascript executor so we can use javascript executor in order to enter the value okay so how to use javascript executor first you need to take javascript executor from driver so you cast the driver as a javascript executor then you said just javascript object dot execute script okay so we can use uh, javascript uh, you know executor in the javascript executor we can use a method called execute script now for the execute script we need to provide uh, two inputs one is uh, you know the javascript command in the double quotes and the second one is a web element that you want to work with now the command for the javascript uh, you know javascript command in order to enter the value is you say arguments of zero you have to say arguments of zero dot dot we need to use something called set attribute the method is you can, okay so the, the method is common across all the applications in order to enter the value using javascript executor you have to say arguments of zero dot set attribute of then you have to give attribute name give the attribute name and value in single quote okay so set attribute attribute name as a value and uh, you can give the value as like a, B, C, D, E, F, G, something. Okay, so any value that you can provide here. So uh, set attribute method is used for, you know, setting the or changing any attribute value for an element. So value is one of the attribute available for the text field, normally in input field. So the value attribute for the text field is used for setting the value into the field or taking the value from the field. So we are directly setting the value to the value attribute. So by using set attribute method. So now let us run this, see whether it will work or not. You can see that value is being set. Can you see the value has been entered here? Let us rerun again with the different value to observe. Okay. So I'm using A, B, C, D, F, G, right? So some value X, Y, Z, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this. You can see the value has been entered, right? So the this is the third way. There are multiple ways to enter the value into a text field. Okay. Then when to use JavaScript executor? Okay. So when, when to use JavaScript executor? And we, when, when we have the send case already, then why do we use JavaScript executor then? Okay, let me do one thing here. Let me do one thing. So uh, this is the input, uh, you know, HTML page that we are working with. Now this is the username, right? What I do is I will, you know, disable that username field. Now let me open that HTML page again, the login page. Okay. Now you can see that the username field has been disabled. Username field has been disabled. Okay. Now le let me try one thing. The username field is exist. So find element still can find the element. It can take the element. Now I'll try to enter the value into that field, username field. Whereas the field has been disabled. The field is disabled. Okay, now let me run this code again. Okay, now uh, I try to enter the value. I try to enter the value into the field which has been disabled. 
right so i try to enter the value by using send case method and the field has been disabled right you see that okay uh, there is an exception what is the element not interactable exception okay now let us try with the javascript executor now for the same field which has been disabled, I try to enter the value using JavaScript executor. Can you see the value has been entered? So value has been entered, right? Okay. So when to use JavaScript executor over send case method? Okay, so when you try to enter the value, but when the field has been disabled or when the field is not visible, that means when the field is hidden in the UI, field is there, but when it is hidden or when it is uh, disabled, then send case method will not work on that. Send case method will throw an exception called element not interactable exception. Now the field has been disabled on the UI. I still want to set the value into that field on the disabled field. I want to set the value into the disabled field or I want to set the value into a field that is hidden on the UI. So where send case is not working, in such cases, you can use JavaScript executor and uh, JavaScript executor syntax is like this. Okay, the code is going to be same across all the applications. First, you take JavaScript executor from the driver and then use arguments of zero dot set attribute values always going to be sorry attribute is always going to be value and uh, this you know the value what you want to enter will be changing and the element also will be changing okay so it could be a different text field in other application so you can use uh, directly send keys from the web element or you can use actions class or you can use JavaScript executor in order to set the value into the text field. So there are three ways. Is, is, is it clear? Is it clear for all? Okay, now there is other question from Naveen. If sometimes not able to, you know, yeah, if locator doesn't work, do we use JavaScript executor? No, no. So JavaScript executor is not for finding the element. JavaScript executor normally use it for performing certain actions. So if locator doesn't work, then you don't use JavaScript executor. It's a different way. Okay, so how to enter the value into a text field? 